Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Pastor Shea, a.k.a. Chaplain G, coming back at y'all with another word of encouragement for today. So, yo, check this out. I wanted to bring y'all this word of encouragement. First, I want to apologize. Yo, it's been a couple weeks since I've been on here. Your boy been bogged down with a bunch of stuff, bunch of projects going on at home, different things going on in life, and i just been sidetracked. But I'm here today giving you all this good word, man, from the good book. And it is, it is the word of God and has power in our lives. So that's why I want to make sure that I'm coming back, give you all this word of God, man. And hopefully this is a word of encouragement for you today. Today's word of encouragement comes out of the book of Daniel, right? Maybe you've heard the story before. It's the story of Daniel getting tossed in the lion's den. So you have the story about Daniel. He's in captivity in the land of Babylon, right? And this king, Daniel ends up rising through the ranks. He's got a high position in the government. And the king, he, he becomes like the king's like Rahan dude, right? Like he's, he's that dude. He's far up in the government. And everybody else is, that's like some of the king's officials, they don't like that. And so they start scheming behind the, scheme, behind the scenes to try to take Daniel out. One thing they notice about him that Daniel is a he's he's a man of God, like he's going to pray to God regardless. And so they come up with this scheme that let's convince the king to make a law that nobody can pray to the to anybody except the king. Essentially making the, the king like this God man on earth. Right. King's like, hey, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Let's let's roll with the fellas. So he makes a law. Daniel's like, yo, I can't I can't rock like that. So he's. He's going to pray regardless. Your, your man and them, they, they see Daniel uh, off praying, and so they, they skip their way to the king, and they start rat, trying to rat him out. So the king, he makes this law, and he's like, well, I made the law. I got to follow the law. So they allow Daniel to be tossed in the lion's den. But it's, it's this phrase that the king uses that I want to give you all this word of encouragement for today. So, yo, this is Daniel chapter 6. I'm going to pick it up in verse 16. Y'all check this out. It says, Then the king commanded, and Daniel was brought and cast into the den of lions. The king declared to Daniel, May your God, whom you serve continually, deliver you. So, yo, this first part of this word of encouragement is to the people of faith. Yo, you never know who's going to be watching you. There's always going to be haters. There's always going to be people that are, are looking to scheme against you and stuff like that. But the people who matter, the people who are making decisions and uh, they're the ones that are making things go and uh, the, the big heavy hitters, right? They, they notice your faith. Remain faithful. Keep praying. Keep reading your Bible. Keep your relationship close with God. Keep serving others. Keep, keep living your life as a child of God in the reflection of Christ because people are watching you. So that's my first part of that word of encouragement. Here's the second part of that word of encouragement. So Daniel gets shut up in the lion's den, right? And the lions are in there and they put like a stone in front of the entrance so Daniel can't get out. And he remains in there all night long. Next morning, the king has the stone rolled away, calls in. Hey, Daniel, you, you doing all right? He's like, yep, God shut the lion's mouths. So there, there's the miracle, right? There's where you see God on the scene where the, the spirit of God comes upon his creation to create a miracle. God's just amazing like that. But check out what the king did in response. The king won. Threw the, threw the other dudes into the lion's den for, for trying to trick them, right? But then he writes this letter, uh, verse 25. It says, Then the king Darius wrote to all the peoples, nations, and languages that dwell in all the earth. He said, Peace be multiplied to you. I make a decree that in all my royal dominion, people are to tremble and, and fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God, enduring forever. His kingdom shall never be destroyed, and his dominion shall be to no end, shall be to the end. He delivers and rescues. He works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. He who has saved Daniel from the power of the lions. Here's my second word of encouragement. This is to leaders. Understand the power of God working in people's lives. 
when you have people that are that are working for you, maybe it's maybe it's an airman, maybe it's one of your employees, understand their faith. One is the most important thing about them. Two, the power that works in people's lives as they're serving God, the God who works wonders, who delivers and rescues, who whose dominion will last to the to the ends of the age. That God is at work in that person's life and that person is working for you. What do you, what kind of blessings do you think it brings to your organization? I Man, God is God is a God who who blesses the nations. God is a God who puts people in particular positions to bless everyone else on purpose. So as that person is in your organization, you'll capitalize on the faith they bring, capitalize on the the presence of God that now is indwelt within your organization. And yo, I, I promise you, like, things will begin to change when you put those kind of people forward. The, the people who have faith, the people who are uh, they they have their right mind about them. They're not out doing all kind of sinful patterns, but they they're loving God and they're loving people and they're and they are working for you as if they're working for God Himself. Yo, you want those kind of people in your organization, man, and, and you're and it will continue to blossom and bloom, and you will see productivity. You'll see gains. You'll see your people thriving and happy, and that should be at the end of the day what's most encouraging. So two words of encouragement in one message. Hopefully y'all get down this. Yo, go back and read Daniel, man. It is so good uh, just to see Daniel's faith on display and how God continues to bless him. But yo, I pray this is encouraging for you. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. It's, it's free to y'all, but means a lot over here. I really appreciate it. Yo, I'm praying for y'all. Hit me up. My email is going to be down in the description, man. I, I'd love to touch base with you. Love y'all, man. Hope y'all doing good. And until next time, grace and peace.